In this video, we're going to be talking about the cardiac cycle. So the cardiac cycle is a series of contractions and relaxations that occur in the heart during one heartbeat. In other words, the following events that we're going to talk about is happening in just a single heartbeat. Now, before we talk about the cardiac cycle, a quick reminder that blood always flows from an area of high pressure to an area of low pressure. So what causes high pressure in the heart? And that's contraction. Whenever we have contraction, that area or that chamber has a high pressure. And low pressure is caused by relaxation. Now in the cardiac cycle, we're going to be introduced to two new words, systole, which represents contraction, and diastole, which represents relaxation. Okay, so the first event that's gonna occur is atrial systole, which means that the atria will contract. This will be followed by ventricular systole, and that's followed by diastole. So we can see that there are three major events in one cardiac cycle. And the order is atrial systole, followed by ventricular systole, followed by diastole. Now let's look at each of these in a bit more detail. So in atrial systole, first of all, the atria will contract. When they contract, this causes the pressure in the atria to become greater than the pressure of the ventricles. As a result, the atrioventricular valves, which are the valves that are between the atria and the ventricles, will open, and this causes blood from the atria to move into the ventricles. This is then followed by ventricular systole. So now the ventricles will contract. This causes the pressure in the ventricles to become greater than the pressure of the atria. As a result, this causes the atrioventricular valves to close, and this prevents backflow into the atria. Finally, the pressure of the ventricles is also greater than the pressure of the arteries. As a result, this causes the semilunar valves to open. The next phase is diastole. So now the atria and ventricles are relaxed. This means that the pressure in the arteries is greater than the pressure of the ventricles. As a result, the semilunar valves will close. Also, the pressure in the veins are greater than the pressure of the atria. So now this draws blood into the heart via the veins. Now, as blood flows into the heart, this forces the atrioventricular valves to open. Now, blood moves passively from the atria into the ventricles. However, the amount of blood coming into the atria is still greater than the amount of blood leaving the atria passively. As a result, the atria begin to fill up. Okay, so a quick summary. We have atrial systole, where blood flows from the atria into the ventricles followed by ventricular systole, where blood flows from the ventricles through the arteries. And finally, we have diastole, where blood flows back into the heart via the veins. Okay, we all know that the heart has a characteristic lub-dub sound. If you look at this overview of cardiac cycle, where do you think, or what events in the cardiac cycle are responsible for that lub-dub sound of the heart? The first one is because of the atrioventricular valves closing during ventricular systole. And the second one is caused by the semilunar valves closing during diastole. Now, one more thing about ventricular systole. We know that the atrioventricular valves close, and this is important because had they not done that, blood would flow back into the atria, which is not good. However, because the pressure inside the ventricles is so great, this could potentially force the atrioventricular valves to fold in backwards and then the blood could make its way back to the atria. Of course, we don't want this to happen. So what does the heart do about this? Well, the heart has cords and these are fibers that are attached to the atrioventricular valves and attached to the walls of the ventricles. And this holds it together, preventing them from folding inwards. Hey guys, if that video helped you, support our channel by liking, subscribing and sharing it with your friends. And more importantly, if you still have questions, drop a post on our forum at examqa.com where I will personally be there to help answer your questions. Mohammed signing out.